The 2012 report covers 23 countries. There's been extraordinary violence against children uh, in Syria because it's not only the killing and maiming uh, which we see in crossfire or the sexual violence, the recruitment and use which we find in other conflicts, but we have, uh, uh, as you know, I sent a technical team out to the uh, refugee camps to take uh, affidavits and testimony, and we have children as young as 14 years old in detention being tortured by government forces uh, with marks visibly uh, on their bodies. Uh, we have seen children, they've described to my technical team of being beaten, of being scarred by cigarette bones, and whipped with electrical cables. Cases of sexual torture were also recorded against these children. So the torture of children in detention is something quite uh, horrific. In addition, we have uh, evidence of children being used as human shields. In the Ain Laru's village, uh, for example, children from that village described how uh, on, in a bus that was carrying military personnel, the children were put up, up against the window uh, so as to protect the bus from being uh, attacked. It's divided into Annex 1, which are countries on the agenda. My technical team, as I said, spoke to uh, Colonel Riyad Assad, and uh, they are against it. They say there is no such policy, but on, in the field it is occurring. Uh, these uh, children are being recruited. Uh, sometimes in medical evacuation units, sometimes running to the front, uh, to, uh, in the front line. Uh, and so we want to send a very strong signal uh, to the Free Syrian Army that they really have to take more steps uh, to stop this recruitment this month. Um, let me we strongly believe that there should be um, uh, a referral to the ICC on this. And I think, I think, if the, I think the High Commissioner has been very vocal about that. And we hope that at least the evidence that has been gathered by various parts of the UN and others uh, will form a part of any kind of uh, uh, action by the ICC at a future date. People have to be held accountable for these terrible acts. The child casualties and airstrikes conducted by NATO. It's clearly a very disturbing finding uh, in the report uh, and it will be looked at carefully by all members of the Security Council. But it is just yet another chapter in the barbarity that is being uh, imposed by the Syrian regime on its own civilian population. So to be honest, we are not surprised by the report, but it is still abhorrent and another example of how far beyond the pale of humanity the Syrian regime has gone. Um, as you know, we are discussing uh, in consultations with various partners about next steps in the Security Council and that will continue.